Hello, my Dying to DIY fam. It's me, Camaro, and I am back with some really cute, classy, and high-end bee-themed DIYs to share with you guys. This is my first time ever doing anything along the sorts, like the bee theme, I guess. So I'm really excited and happy with how they turned out. So you guys will definitely have to let me know what you guys think about them down below in my comment section. Also, while you're there, let me know what other DIYs you would like to see from me. I do have a lot of things in the works right now, but I am curious as to what you guys would like to see. All right. Anyways, that's enough blabbing let's get into the DIYs for this project I'm using this sign from Dollar Tree I like it because it's clear and it has a really pretty just solid black frame it's got a more like modern look which I'm really into so I just started by taking some rubbing alcohol and a glass like razor blade a glass <laughs> scraper and just started scraping those words off I just kept adding you know the rubbing alcohol whenever I needed it if it was getting dry or whatnot um, it really did help you know just kind of squeegee those little letters off so I just kept doing that until it was nice and clear and then I cleaned it off with some Windex after that I went to my Cricut machine and I printed off this cute little decal it says local honey for sale loved it just really clean and simple goes with that modern look that I'm going for and I just applied that directly to the middle like so you know tear off the transfer tape all that good stuff once I did apply it I realized I was missing some of the pieces I didn't notice until I was looking at it like what's going on here so I had to go back to my um original like vinyl piece and look for the little lines which they were kind of like hiding like incognito but I did end up finding them so all is well um and here is how it turned out after I fixed everything everything's nice and complete I should say <laughs> but my next step was to take this little uh, plant trellis this is from the Walmart dollar spot I thought they were super cute and I totally like had the bee theme in mind when I saw these I was like it totally looks like a honeycomb or something like that so I am just taking my razor blade and I'm just cutting off the sticks like that would be planted into a planter or whatnot so I'm just cutting those away from the little trellis part and then I am taking some bright yellow paint from apple <laughs> my goodness apple barrel it never fails you guys I'm always like tongue-tied in these videos so I'm so sorry <laughs> apple barrel paint bright yellow and then I just kind of played around with the placement on the frame of where I wanted to place it you know top left top uh, right corner bottom left bottom right corner and I decided on the bottom right corner so I just took some hot glue and glued it down into place and that was it for this one look how adorable super classy in my opinion and totally high-end I love it again with that really like sleek and clean modern look I think it is absolutely adorable you have like just the black and like the clear glass and then you have like a pop of yellow and I think it just brings it all together you could totally leave it without the little trellis but honestly I loved it so much with the trellis so I'm really happy that I added that in there for this next project, I am using a sign from Dollar Tree again, and this time it says let it be, and it has a cute little, you know, the same pattern as that trellis. It's like a honeycomb pattern. So this project is super, super simple, quick, and easy, really not much to it, and you guys have seen me do this plenty of times before if you are not new here. So I'm just going to reverse canvas this, and I'm just going to start by taking my flathead screwdriver, and I am prying away all of the staples that are on the back. And and honestly it's really not that necessary to remove all of the staples you can totally just use a razor blade and cut you know the material away from the frame if you want to do that but I personally just wanted mine to be a little bit more clean on the back and not like run into the extra material and stuff that was sticking out or whatever was going to happen so I did take the time and removed all the staples from the back and once I was done with that and I was able to remove the frame from the material I just took my cutting mat a straight edge and a razor blade and just cut off the excess parts of the material that kind of like folded around the frame in the beginning I just want it to be nice and flush with the frame and then I am taking my staple gun and stapling the material um, back into place on the back of the frame this time so you can see the frame and here is how it turned out like I said super quick easy simple but I really feel like it just brings this project to the next level 
I like the sign so much better with the frame on the front rather than it being hidden. That's just personal preference. And I was going to paint the frame, but I honestly, I really liked it the way that it was. So I just left it as is and such a quick and easy DIY. All right, for my third project, I'm going to be using this kitchen towel from Dollar General. And this towel might look a little familiar to some of you guys if you guys have seen my most recent spring uh, DIY video I posted like a week or so ago. But the other one was pink and white. And obviously this one is going with our B theme. So I am just taking the towel, opening it up, and then just cutting it right above the little B picture um, where it has like the frills and stuff. I really want this to be on the smaller like on a smaller scale so I'm just kind of trimming it down and you know until I'm happy with the size of it I'm basically just making like a small little decorative pillow so I really don't need it to be that big I just need it to be like you know half an inch or an inch on each side of that little B picture so that's where I was cutting it once I was happy with the cuts I'm going to take some hot glue and just glue everything into place so I just started by gluing the two back pieces together and then I glued the bottom and I am going to leave the top open and give the glue time to dry and solidify once it is done drying I'm going to just turn the little pillow right side out to like so and then next I am taking some jute twine and some raw wooden beads I'm going to make a really simple little hanger to go on top of this decorative pillow so I'm just stringing the beads on until you know it was aesthetically pleasing to my eye you can string as many as you want on there once I was happy with the length I'm just taking more hot glue and I'm going to glue the strings on the insides of that little pillow so one on the very far left and then one on the very far right and before I turn this into a little decorative pillow I'm going to show you something else that you can do with this I am taking some like crinkle paper and I'm just stuffing it kind of full about halfway maybe 75% of the way and then I'm just taking some floral picks and kind of stuffing them here and there and everywhere and it turns into like a cute little like hanging pocket vase I don't know what you would call it but something along the sorts and I thought it would be really really cute to do it this way but I totally wanted to keep going with my idea of turning it into a decorative pillow but like I said I did want to show you this before I stuffed it and glued everything else together <laughs> all right so we are de-stuffing that or defluffing yeah taking all the stuff out of there and um, we are getting our actual fluff our fluffed oh my goodness our actual soft fluff and we are stuffing that full until we are happy with the look we want it really plump nice and plump and full and then I'm just taking more hot glue and just kind of folding that top down onto itself so it kind of gives it a more like nice looking seam I guess and yeah that was it so look how quick and easy it went from one thing to another super like with a snap of your fingers <laughs> But I think it is so, so adorable. Love it. I love the colors. I love the fringe. I love the beads. I love it. Everything about it is so stinking cute. But if I could change one thing, I probably would make it to where you could see more of the stripes around the edge. I just love the whole vibe together of the stripes and like the frayed edges and stuff. But you can't really see a lot of the stripes. So that is the only downfall. But otherwise, I think it's absolutely adorable. On to the next project, I'm going to be using this little mason jar. It's like a little pint jar from Dollar General. It was only a dollar and has a cute little like honeycomb pattern and it has the bee on the front. Love, love, love it. So I am just gonna start by taking some more of that apple barrel bright yellow paint and I'm just dropping a whole bunch in there, putting the lid on and giving her a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 right? Shake it until all the paint is covering the inside of that pint jar. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I swear, you guys would think I'd like don't even know how to talk or something. Okay, pint jar. We're filling up the pint jar so it's completely covered with the paints. I did add a little bit of water just to kind of loosen that paint up and make it like more easily spreadable. So just shaking it up until it's nice and covered 100%. And then I set it outside for about two hours to dry. I mean, give or take the time, but here it is when it's all said and done, all dry. So now I'm just going to be taking some sandpaper and kind of sanding it away very gently because the paint is just going to come right off so depending on how like 
heavy you want the distressing you know just be careful I just really wanted like a light to maybe a medium ish distress so I didn't go too heavy-handed next I am taking these little fairy lights and I'm going to just shove them into the jar but I am going to glue the battery pack onto the underside of the lid so that way it just stays nice and in place and then you won't have to see like the battery pack hanging you know from the inside of the jar where you like sanded down the little um the sides so stuff those little lights in there and voila you have a cute little light up mason jar it kind of looks like it's like a glowing honey jar or something like that i don't know it's so stinking cute though i love it and i think it looks just as good with the lights on as it does with the lights off so i mean these would be really cute like on your front porch or something maybe if you made like a bunch of them like four five six seven of them you could put them like on your walkway area or just like on your patio maybe i think that would be totally adorable so let me know what you guys think of this one down below in my comment section all right we have made it to the last project for this video and i am going to be using this trivet from dollar general three dollars super cute loved it so i really don't have to do much to this one but i did want to kind of spruce it up a little bit <laughs> So I'm taking a yellow permanent marker and I'm just kind of going along the bee like the body of the bee And then I kind of did um, the wings a little bit and then I'm taking a thicker permanent marker just to go around the edge of that trivet Just to kind of give it a little bit more contrast It did have yellow around the rim, but it was really hard to see so I wanted to make it a little bit more prominent So just taking that thicker marker to go around the edge and then my last little step for this one was to take a left over um, picture frame back that I have like have had on hand for forever for forever I don't know do you guys say fur like me instead of for fur forever <laughs> that I've had on hand for forever and then I'm just taking some hot glue and gluing that little piece down into place and that was it for this one look how cute it is next to that pint jar I love it they look so good together. I think they really complement each other. And again, I really like that like sleek, simple, modern look, but like with a pop of color. I think it's absolutely stunning, so classy, and so high-end in my book. So I really hope you guys feel the same way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these projects in this video. Definitely let me know all about them down below in the comment section and Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so I would love 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 for you guys to join the dying to DIY fam But also commenting liking sharing my videos helps me out just as much and is so greatly appreciated so anyways anyways <laughs> can't end the video without messing up right so anyways you guys thanks so much for watching and thanks for being here i will see you guys next time bye